What's good, YouTube and returning life gainer, still king of the box office, Black Panther, en route to smashing all the records. And there are about five interesting categories of records Black Panther is chasing that we're going to discuss in this video. We're going to also cover what were the top five movies for this past weekend. Kind of let you know if some of my predictions came true about Stream It or Beam It. And if you're just now finding me for the first time, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so that you can be down every time we drop a life gains video because we cover so many things on this channel, finance, fitness, entertainment, streaming. We do it all to help you make those life gains. And let's go ahead and jump into this video. Black Panther, still king at the box office. Knowing all, loving all, feeling all, seeing all, powerful, just damn all everything, the sexy as hell, host of this Life Games channel. We're talking the second weekend of Black Panther, and this movie is still the king, Wakanda forever. We still breaking records en route to the highest grossing movie of this particular weekend. And here's your top five. First of all, shouts out to the Life Games team, Brian, Brianna, the twins, Jasmine, holding me down. They went to see the movie with me this weekend. Some of us in that group done seen the movie three times. One of us was a, a virgin to seeing the movie and she loved every piece of it. I want you guys to leave me a comment in the section below. Who would you give best supporting actress to in that movie? My homegirl Brianna, me and Brian, and Jasmine, we all feel like the sister would get that supporting cast role, but you guys let me know what you think. Let's talk about the top five this weekend. Black Panther was number one, bringing in uh, basically $109 million. Good God Almighty. Game Night came in at number two with $16 million. Peter Rabbit came in number three with twelve. million. Annihilation, which I did a streaming of Beaming on, go watch it. I'm going to save y'all that money. It came in well below what I thought with $11 million. And would y'all believe Fifty Shades is still in the top five? That's number five. It made a whole whopping $6 million. There you go. So let's talk about the significance of Black Panther and what it has done in the second weekend. In the history of these movies, the amount of money that has been made, Black Panther has came on the top of the list in being the second highest grossing weekend movie, only behind The Force Awakens Star Wars Jurassic Jurassic World is number three. The Avengers is number four for a second weekend with 103 million. Beauty and the Beast made 90 million dollars. And that is significant because with the success of this movie, you really wonder is the bar set extremely high for Avengers Infinity War? I don't see how that can be messed up in all honesty. But hey, stranger things have happened. Also helping chart the tops for Black Panther, it's got another record. Fastest movie to $400 million. Check out this list. The Force Awakenings, number one, took eight days. Jurassic World took 10 days. Black Panther took 10 days. The Last Jedi took 12 days. And the original Avengers took 14 days to get to $400 million. I mean, guys, wow. Just think about it. Think about the gravity of that. That much money in 14 days? What would you do with some of that money? Here's another good one for you. Second week domestically, Black Panther made $400 million. On a foreign scale, it made $304 million. And it hadn't even opened up in Japan or China yet. It don't open up there until March. So this movie still got some legs left with it. How does this movie rank up in comparison to the other MCU movies? Worldwide, talking worldwide, because I told y'all this movie's gonna make a billion dollars. Some of y'all said it ain't gonna make a billion dollars. This movie is gonna get a bit, it's already at 704 million and only basically 10 days. So you know it's gonna get to a billion. It's just how far. Take a look at this. The Avengers, the very first one, made $1.5 billion. Age of Ultron made 1.4 and that movie it was okay it won't all that iron man 3 which was not my favorite my favorite was number one it made 1.2 captain america civil war made 1.1 and that movie was deserving of that money 
Spider-Man Homecoming made 880 million. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 made 863 million. Thor Ragnarok made 853. Guardians of the Galaxy, the original one, made 773. Winter Soldier, one of my top five favorites, made 714 million. And Black Panther in only 10 days has already made $704 million. Just giving you guys the box office update with a little stats to dig in there with it so that you can be informed as we try to help y'all save money on your movie choices and let you know what is worth seeing in the theater. This movie is worth multiple times being seen. But leave me comments in the section below. How many times have you seen this movie? Are you gonna go back and see it again? And how much do you think this movie is gonna make? I'm predicting at least 1.5 billion. Is it possible that it could crack 2 billion? Let me know in the comment sections below. And that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Let me know how you're feeling about this movie, the fate of the Marvel Universe going forward with Infinity War, and until the next Sex is Hell video, we're wrapped.